No, oh, perfect timing. Just about to put a render on. Um, today we wanted to share with you our project, and for a lot of people, a project is a race car build or a drift car or a show car. In our case, it's a camera car because that's what we really use a lot of the time, and we were dying to get one. We couldn't go the proper, you know, big budget way like that. So we didn't really want to go the dark path like this either and we had to come up with our own solution and Nikita will show you today where we are. So for our project car we chose the E500, this is a 2005 Mercedes. The reason we chose it was the 5 liter V8, it has good power and loads of torque. To handle it when we put all the cameras and all the rigs on it and still have some dynamics. Um, the second part is the air suspension, these things came bagged from the Mercedes factory. Um, it gives you the possibility to raise your ride height a little bit or to lower it and uh, it has three settings for uh, the stiffness of the suspension. So when we are on the uh, Toronto roads with all the potholes, you put in comfort and it absorbs all that. When you go on the racetrack, you put it in super sport and uh, it handles that much better in corners and stuff like that. Third reason for this car is the fact that it's huge. Uh, we can fit all our gear in the trunk, lights, cameras, lenses, tripods, sliders, everything in, and still travel four people in there comfortably. So we've already modified the front. Um, if you notice these, this is not James Bond guns on the car. These are receivers for the bumper. So these go in here, and then we attach it with long bolts. And then in here, they're all 3-8 threads, so we can attach our camera mounts. This thing adjusts up and down for uh, your camera height. And then on the end of it is a remote head. We use this is a, uh, a flyhead mini, and you can go on the left, on the right, up, down, whatever, whatever works for the shot. currently sitting on the uh, stock Mercedes Winters. Uh, for summer we have these nice fat 19 inch rotary forms and they're really fast. So now we're at the point when we have to create the rear mount as well as the roof rack. Subscribe and stay tuned for more progress. Mm -hmm. 